Social Perspectives, hosted by J. Gentile Everett, is brought to you by the Renaissance Ministry. Hello and welcome to Social Perspectives. We're here at the Asher Theater celebrating Black History Month. We thank you for joining us as we are excited to present black comedy from the Death Comedy Jam All-Stars with HBO. Stay tuned and stay alert. We'll be right back with this feature. I mean, listen, uh, man, Gentile Everett, social perspective, man, Sunday nights, 1130, it's awesome. He was here, man, he, oh my God, this guy is off the chain. He's filming all our stuff for the month of February. The Black Comedy Series continues on, man. Oh, God, it was great. Who we had? Oh, we had Chris started out with Chris Thomas. We're going to end up with Tony Woods. Both of them were mentors to Dave Chappelle. You guys got to come get some of this. The Asher Theater, be there on B Square. Ah, ah, peace. I was trying to get James, uh, James up here. I told him earlier, I said, James, let's us do some impressions together. Sylvia Traymore, she's going to be on Civil Shepherd show. She's going to be on Civil Shepherd. She's the one, the, one of them. The only black female impressionist that I know, she's going to be on Civil Shepherd this Wednesday on the 6th. Check her out. She's from Washington, D.C. She was the first associated producer for Saturday Night Live and John Bellucci that was on the show. She's a good friend of mine, all right? Come on out here, James. Give it up for Mr. Chris Thomas. You bad dude, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to start off. I'm going to start off with man. Okay, go ahead. All right, it's a wolf man chat tonight here on the Midnight Special. Here I want to introduce Mr. Howard Cosell. Good evening, sports fans. This is Howard Costell. I'm a heaven alley. You're only a snow. You don't have the stamina or the ability as the cast is played from yesterday. I was a dwarf. I whipped your face. Can it all stop listening? All the fans in the world. <laughs> Now I'm on Rayner, this is Sammy Davis Jr. Hey man, I'm so sure man. <laughs> the candy man makes everything he makes. <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Who can take a white guy? <laughs> give him a basketball, give him cocaine and watch him lose it all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, I tell you, you know, I don't respect, you know. I was thinking I told my wife, I saw some oral sex. She spit on me, you know. I told him, come in. She said, it's already gone, you know. I told him, having a heart attack. She said, let's make sure, you know. Bill Cosby with no words. I was sitting in the dentist's chair. Said, Welcome to Las Vegas, my name is. This is a, yesterday, I'm going to bring up a man that you probably have seen all the time. I used to try to be him. That's how good Bill Cosby, you think that Bill Cosby, when I was trying to be this man, put your hands together, Mr. Richard Pryor. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank, I want to thank Bill Cosby, though. I met him. And all he had to say to those judges is, I don't remember. I, I love you too, man. Listen, what happened? Just come on home. <laughs> what happened between you and Eddie Murphy? I'm very sorry. Well, Eddie. 
understand what you're saying, man. I don't understand why you trying now. This is not good. Somebody, now this is not good. Never had it. But this is not good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much. My name is Chris Hammer. Thank you, Jane. Yeah. Is it good or what? Yeah. Hold up, hold up, I got to do this. Thank y'all so much, God bless you. Now, now, isn't it great you can come out and just enjoy a night of comedy without people getting pissed off? A couple of white people got upset. We found out they wasn't white. It was my aunt and the three bears. <laughs> And don't stop, hey, hey. If we done calm down, we call the police already. All right, the police gonna come. They ain't gonna take you to jail. They just gonna put you in the cage and take you back where you came from. <laughs> just kidding. I had to mess with my auntie because, you know some of the stuff I said when I said about her lying to me? She told you the truth, that was a true story. Because my uncle, he passed a couple years ago. And I didn't really get to know him as a kid because they lived in Pennsylvania most of my life. But he would always be lying. God! <laughs> he would tell us all the time when we were kids, you know, he used to look like James Brown. So he'd be like, huh, James Brown, James Brown. And he was like, say that. That's what he called. He said, I said, oh, cause I was, he said, man, I was in Vietnam. I was in Vietnam for four years. 1986, 87. <laughs> I, I, I knew, because I know my history. I know there was no Vietnam. He was in Vietnam, must not be on vacation. <laughs> and she would back him up. She would look at my face. I mean, would look at my face. Go, she, he said, I saw this really beautiful white woman in Las Vegas. She was a waitress. And that's where I met her. She was beautiful. And then I said, was that true, Avery? And she said, yeah, I was really fine then. She was already because he got mad. And she was like, and then I went out, my mom, my serious, my mom said, JP been lying since he was six. Mm -hmm. We were younger, he talking about, you see the booger man, he in the corner. Y'all don't know what the Booger Man is, do y'all? They used to call the Booger Man in the South. Booger Man, remember that? That the Booger Man with no boogers. I think they were trying to say it's the Boogie Man. I always think the Boogie Man was like Luther Vandross nigga dancing at the foot of my bed. I'm your Boogie Man. So we wanted to be able to bring our culture here, and it's really cool. Now, everybody has different flavors of what they do. Whether you want dirty, clean whatever you want. The thing is, comedians, if it wasn't for people like Richard Pryor, you know, Pee Wee Mark and all those other cats, man, we would have no history. And so what we're trying to do is bring you, like, if you want, you want some really clean, clean, funny intellectual humor, and they're funny and they're black, on the third week, you got Woody and Willie, funny as heck, clean. He's so funny, he was on Huckabee the other week. Don't y'all come ahead when we talk about you Republican now, okay? <laughs> And that uh, Billy D. Washington, absolutely incredible. It's gonna make you think and also make you laugh. Tommy Chun is like gonna be right up in your face. Okay? And so that's gonna, that's some great shows. If you want, if you want to get the tickets, you can half off. Half off. Canadians, that's half off plus 15% for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't know about Canadian money. Man, they hired me. I used to go to Canada. They said they would give me ten thousand dollars. I got back across the border. I had twelve dollars and thirty-two cents. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is true. They know what's up, the Canadians, man. First time I went to Canada, man. I used to have like a jerk curl when I was young. I had curl hanging down, and they never seen no black people up there, man. I'm telling you, I get across the border, and all the white girls be driving in the car. Go, oh my God, Michael Jackson! <laughs> 
I would have been like, I was famous over there. <laughs> it was cool. I, I wanted to share that with y'all. So y'all, so we got some more shows coming too. We're thinking about, we're trying to bring Evelyn Champagne King oh. for uh, women's, uh, 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 what is it, women's, honey, my wife back there? No. Okay, anyway. <laughs> she must love me tonight. <laughs> uh, but we're going to do the Women History Month. We're going to be trying to bring, we're trying to bring somebody special. Uh, our fifth anniversary, the Asher Theater, will be open for five years in April. Wow. Believe that? <laughs> April 15th, I think it's April 15th or the 20th, we're going to be back here. We're going to have, um, we're going to do our Motown show that weekend, but we're going to have Earth, Wind, and Fire tribute artists here, man. You gotta see it, they, they're 12 piece, they're, they, they're good. They, they sound just like Earth, Wind, and Fire. And I happened to see Earth, Wind, and Fire New Year's Eve. I saw them in Atlantic City, it was really cool. And you guys, if you ever see them, you gotta go see them, man, it's really cool. Uh, we got a lot of shows gonna be coming this year. Uh, that's them, that's them, that's them. That's them, let's go to lock in the three bed. Uh, uh, we're going to, I got, a, got a, I got a play that we're trying to do called Shoe Shine. Y'all got to check this out. Oh, Tay Diggs is going to be in town next weekend. Y'all know that? Wow. Tay Diggs is going to be at the Marina Marriott next next Saturday night. Don't go there. Come here because I got Motown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tickets are like $125 a piece. Come here for $40. Look, look at my cousin. She's trying to go see Tanky Diggs. You know how my cousin got her groove back. Come on. <laughs> look at her with it. Um, so we got that. Come, I'm trying to figure out some of the other shows that we got. But please stay tuned because our holidays is when we're going to bring. We had Chuck Rock dance party last year. That was really good. So we're talking about doing the Sugar Hill Gang, Ellen Champagne King. Uh, we're trying to do like a dance party again. And we have the best dancers and stuff. And old people don't worry about it, cause it, see, people be thinking just because, cause these people are so old, you ain't gonna have no trouble. <laughs> no, because I, you know, my my the group that I loved growing up was Harold Mel and the Blue Notes. I miss you, baby. I swear I do. Oh, 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 you know what I'm saying? I didn't know they were 80 and 90 years old. <laughs> oh my God. They came up here, one guy had sugar, had lost one of his legs. And they were up there, I was, they, I'm serious and true, I was here. They were like, Bella, they were to go, they were to go to Bella. I said, oh my God. <laughs> the white people were like, oh my God, James, you missed the mark this time. <laughs> So we've had the Delphonics here, the Dales, and these Williams. So we're gonna bring some of those people back, please. I wanted to bring the stylistics for New Year's, you know what I'm saying? And see, I'm saying if they sound like they're young, but they're old, you know what I'm saying? So if there's anybody you guys wanna see, please call the Asher and say, I wanna see this group, like New Edition or something like that. You know, Johnny Gill. Uh, who would you guys wanna see? Somebody say who you wanna see. White people, we, we bring white people too. <laughs> Who? Al Green. Al Green? Love and happiness. Hey. Something that'll make you wrong can make you right. So, we get, so who else? Oh, oh Frankie, Frankie, no. Well, you gotta have some Frankie Bell's money if you want that. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. How many people would pay? How many people? If, I, if we brought Evelyn Champagne King, because it's going to cost a lot of money, that's the reason why we have to charge. We would have to probably charge $100 per ticket. How many people would pay $100 per ticket? Nobody. You see? So it would be me and my wife and Evelyn Champagne King. <laughs> I, I just want to see because, okay, we got 300 seats, and they want like almost $20,000. So that's why it costs so much money. Only, you know, 200 tickets at $100 is dollars Hunger has never been more satisfied as it is when it tastes like the delicious Southern cuisines from the Clinton Inn. Here, flavor is never compromised and palate satisfaction always meets the expectation. The weekly buffet features all of the special dishes to which we have grown accustomed. 
Come dine with us on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays starting at 11 a.m. and enjoy a scrumptious meal at the Clinton Inn in Laurenburg, North Carolina, where food has never tasted so good. When you're in need of making the old new again with beautiful upholstery, D. Berry's upholstery is the best, whether it's automobile interior or exterior, boats, church pews, or any residential or commercial seating and the like. Look no further. D. Berry Upholstery's got you covered. Call D. Berry's at 910-276-2265 and experience new again. We take this opportunity to welcome you to a very special moment. We have greatness in our presence, in the personality of Chris Thomas, the first mayor of Rap City. You all remember that. First of all, Chris, your show was fantastic tonight, and thank you for allowing you. us to thank be you. here. So, should I uh, address you as pastor? Gentile. Gentile? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Pastor Gentile. Oh, man, I'm, I'm just glad to, to have this privilege right. to uh, talk with you. You are a master entertainer. Thank you so much. How did you learn that? How did you get that? Well, we all are gifted with something. We just have to find out what it is, and we have to use it. Yes. Some people fall short of what their gift is right. too late. Right. My father used to always say, some people live too long and some people live too short. Yeah. That doesn't mean by being old. Sure. I'm saying sometimes the worst of people That's right. live too long. I understand. And the good people live too short. That's right. That's right. So you have to find out with this long, short time here on earth. Right. right. What you're going to do with your life. Every well, I'll tell stays you. The night. You found it. There's no doubt about that. And the balance that you bring with what you do and your Christianity was astounding to me. See, that's something that I can relate to. And I'm just so glad that we have an entertainer here of your statue. has been everywhere, all over the world. Uh, you've been everywhere with your comedy, your acting, and all of those kinds of things. And yet you stated first you were a Christian. Yes, I'm a believer in the Messiah, the kings of kings, the lords of lords. Amen. The Christ. That's right. That's right. He has many names. That's right. But he's the Christ. But he is. He's the Messiah. And, and I try to make sure that when I pray that I put as many of his titles before Fantastic. That Fantastic. I just am glad that you'll be able to inspire people in our region right. to understand that you can be a Christian and still be a professional actor uh, right. exactly. and an entertainer. Right. And you can involve all kinds of different genres into right. that entertainment system. Right. And you did it tonight masterfully. Let me tell you. Thank you so much. It was really incredible. I am honored to have met you. Thank you. Is there any Anything closing that you just like to say to some of the younger people coming behind me? Because there's some others want to be just like you, there's no doubt about it. Well, Pastor, with everyone's calling, it is when you go to sleep and when you wake up, and what you say to yourself, or oh, what are you going to do today? Or oh, what do you have to do? There's a whole lot of things around me. I always tell people, don't live today like there is no tomorrow right live like there is a tomorrow that's right because once it's gone it doesn't matter anyway that's right that's so right. i would tell them to first love themselves you can't yes. love god without loving yourself that's right that's right because that's what we are all created from that's right. the holy spirit so and whatever you do have passion about it right have passion about it. There's nothing wrong to cry or shed a tear. Everything is not going to be perfect in life because we live in a life among good and evil. Yes. So we have to be strong with that and realize that not all the time is our life in someone else's hands. It's in God's hands. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I want everybody to know this gentleman he has graced the stages all over America and the world but did you hear his humility from Las Vegas to New York Chicago to Atlanta 
but listen at the humility that he still holds on to. Uh, this is Barack Obama. <laughs> and let me say to you, Jata, a pastor, uh, many years ago, many years ago, when I was on my quest to become president of these United States of America, they said I couldn't do it. They came up with a phrase, it's time for change. Now, what do people hear, me as a black man, but they heard it was time for change, to move on, and, and that's what happened. And it's great to be on your show. Thank you. Thank you both, Barack and Chris. Thank you. Uh, so thank you, everybody. <laughs> God bless you all. We'll see you the next time. We have the famous Chris Thomas with us. Thank you, my brother. Uh, thank you God so bless much. you. God bless you. All right. Double Vision RT and Bostic Films are proud to announce that they are currently accepting applicants for various roles for the movie Three Rams and a Hubcap, written by best-selling author Gentile. Please feel free to visit the website at threeramsandahubcap.com for more information and view methods of submitting your interest. Again, visit Three Rams and a Hubcap for more information. The producers are standing by. Hey, we're here with the master. This is the master. So look, I want you to go on and do, do your thing. Do your thing. Talk about the master. We, we know who the master is. No, but, but listen, guess what it said? The Bible says that everything was made was made by him. He right. made both of us. That's right. So he set us up for greatness, man. Hey, Amen. And you know what? I'm just glad to be your little brother. I'm That's so, what I look at. I'm so glad that I can wear a jacket and you can wear a full suit. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to be here every Sunday night. That's right. 1130. This is going to be a great season for you. I can feel it in hey, my man. We're coming from you. I receive it and I'm taking it just like that. We got some amazing. That Motown show is off the chain. You already know. Oh, man, I already know the that. Murder mystery, know. The Murder Mystery Wednesdays and Thursdays. We are on it. We're on it. And my show is on Friday. Oh, don't forget man, about my man, show. Man, your, man, your show, come on. Don't try to cut it. Man, man, you're way out there. You're going to slap me like Wednesday. <laughs> Take care, brother. God bless you. Man, I appreciate you, bro. I'll see you Sunday night, 1130. All right. Peace. Be there. All right. The Renaissance Shoe by JGE was inspired by the rise of Kamala Harris, our Vice President-elect of the United States of America. Get a pair at aliveshoes.com backslash renaissance dash by dash JGE dash one. Again, that's aliveshoes.com backslash renaissance dash by dash JGE dash one. What's up, world? It's Rough Guy Rhymes, the leader of the Dream Big Lifestyle, and I'm here to tell you to dream big. We are excited to share with you our new office that we just opened in the Washington, Maryland area. The phone number is 301 578 5800. That's 301 578 5800. Everett Media, please give us a call if there's anything that we can do to help you and your community or to shed or shine light where there is darkness. You can catch all of the things that we are involved in. Please go to our website. That's jgeverett.com. Follow up with the number that's at the bottom of your screen, and you will be able to stay in touch with us. You can contribute to our causes, and we will have merchandise there for you to purchase. That's Everett Media, 301-578-5800. Zero, zero. It has been our esteemed pleasure to present such a galaxy of talent tonight. 
And remember, if you're interested in featuring any positive happening in your neck of the woods, we are able and we stand available for that service. We are here because of the consistency and the generous giving from those who are trying to help us keep the arts alive. Also remember, those of you who live outside of the immediate viewing area who want to keep up with social perspectives, you can by downloading the WBTW app on any of your devices and watch our show as it appears in the lineup. Please continue to contribute your tax-deductible gifts to this cause. It's too important to dismiss. You can cash apt us at dollar sign R-E-N-M-I-15 or make checks payable to the Renaissance Ministry or our ministry at P.O. Box 1071, Fairmont, North Carolina, 28340. Or our ministry, 208 J.E. Edwards Drive, Unit 8 in Myrtle Beach, 29588. We stand here for you and we're open 24 hours a day for your needs. Please feel free to call us at 301-578-5800. Until the next time, I'm J. Gentile Everett. We'll see you again on Social Perspectives. Social Perspectives is sponsored by ordinary people who believe in spreading love to all because everyone deserves to be loved. Please support our show with your tax-deductible gifts. You can cash up our work at dollar sign R-E-N-M-I-1-5. Again, dollar sign R-E-N-M-I-1-5 and help us reach the world.